Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Making Thought Park in Planet Coaster. We're on episode 12. It it seems like this has gone really slowly to be honest. I think I started back in January or February sort of time. And I mean it's been great. I've really enjoyed making this. Um, making the park and watching the channel grow with it really. I mean this is by far my most successful series that I've ever done on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for that. It's really has been amazing and you guys still seem to enjoy it which is wonderful so yeah today thank you thought park i've got something else to talk about uh they released their online shop uh that will be yesterday from the day i'm recording it and two days ago from the day it's uploaded um so i've got some of the prices i've written them down i've actually made notes for this episode um i've got some of the prices i'll talk about some of the designs what i think of them and all of that but just before we get into that uh you can see that i'm making the entrance to the flying fish at the moment uh so we pretty much finished the flying fish this episode um i probably won't go back to it now i think i have done what i need to do with it which is great because it's probably my least favorite roller coaster um to make especially and then i also want to power a quick disclaimer um when i was making this i was looking on google maps and that's what I do and because I was going to use a floor plan with the screens in Planet Coaster and the entirety of the Flying Fish's queue line on Google Maps and Bing Maps is covered by trees so I don't actually have a clue what the queue line looks like uh, so I, I've had to just improvise completely for it guess what it might look like and make it kind of look generic I am sorry about that, but there was literally nothing else I could do. I looked on multiple mapping websites to see if they had, like, maybe some pictures of when it was, when it didn't have trees, but apparently those don't exist. So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with that, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a shorter episode today. It's about 10 minutes long. Um, the last episode was ridiculously long, and I don't really want to do another 20 minute episode, so. Uh, in Venice, the story, the Thought Park story isn't really something that I'm going to be talking about for a long, long time. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I'm just adding in the lockers outside the Flying Fish. Uh, I actually got some lockers off of the Steam Workshop on the Team Makers Toolkit, and they actually look really realistic and quite close to the ones in real life, to be honest. That's quite nice. But yeah, let's get on to their store. So they announced it yesterday, and they did a teaser a couple of days ago as well. Uh, saying out with the new, in with the old, uh, so that they've they've brought out retro stuff basically. Um, so there's quite a few new things which they've brought out. Um, I think they've completely overhauled their merch line, um, which I'm not the biggest fan of, to be honest. I I'm I don't think it's as nice as it has been. Um, there's a couple of hoodies and t-shirts that I like and I might want one day, but. There's nothing special there, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, the hoodies are about £40. Um, no, they're not. They're £30. I've just completely written it wrong on my notes. Uh, they're about £30. Um, it's a decent price for some hoodies, I would say. Um, the retro hoodies are £40. Uh, so, I was kind of right there. Um, the t-shirts are between £10 and £15. Pounds. Um, some of the t-shirts are quite nice, uh, some of them kind of do the Swarm versus Stealth or Nemesis Inferno versus Colossus, which is quite a cool idea, I quite like it. Um, but it's it just shows their logo and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, the pin badges, lanyards, key rings and all that are £4, uh, but there is there are some retro key rings which are £4.50 I believe. Uh, the water bottle is £8. Um, that's, uh, to be honest, I quite like the water bottle. It's quite nice. Uh, the mugs are £10. I'm not really the biggest fan of those. They're retro and they just don't look very nice, in my opinion. Uh, the retro varsity jacket, uh, which has buttons on it and all of that. I don't like that one bit. Um, and that's also £40. And there's also some plushy, plushies, which I've never seen in the theme park merch before. Uh, but it's a pretty cool idea, and they're £14. Um... It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I'm not really going to want plushies, but I think it is quite a cool idea. So, yeah. Um, 
yeah, let's just say they've brought out new retro clothing. Um, they've brought out 40th anniversary clothing as well. I think there's only a hoodie for that, actually, and I quite like that. It's probably my favourite bit of merch. Um, and that all, all of the retro clothing is about £40, or a bit more expensive, at least. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure whether I'd end up buying any merch. Uh, I mean, I've got a Chesington hoodie and that's it, I believe. Oh no, I've got some. I've got an Icon mug and a Wickerman mug as well, and a Smiler mug. Um, and we've got some uh, a Galactica and Nemesis and Inferno mug as well. So yeah, we've got a good amount of theme park merch, but not that much. It, I, as I say, I'm not the biggest fan on any of this sort of park merch, unfortunately. Uh, I was quite looking forward to the online shop being brought out, but it just looks like they've removed most of the decent merch unfortunately so yeah um we compare the prices to blackpool pleasure beach merch um it's actually not much more expensive um it's about most of the time it's actually only about 5p more expensive so it's not actually a bad price to be honest um but i mean the mug is two pound more expensive i think and the water bottle is one pound more expensive so yeah, it's, it's, I'd say it's pretty good theme park merch prices, especially. Uh, so, yeah. So as you can see, I'm just putting in some um, fences around the the area now. Uh, just making it. I, I I noticed there were set fences there when I was riding it, so. But I don't really know whereabouts they were, so I've just had to just again go guess for most of it. It's just pretty much what I've had to do for most of this ride, to be honest. It's been a real pain to make. Um, and I'm glad to finally get off of it. Well, not only because it's the flying fish, but also because it's just a boring ride to make, as I say. Um, I'm much looking forward to getting onto Stealth, Nemesis Inferno, Colossus, and all of that. Um, so, yeah, obviously, our next big ride that we're making will be Stealth, um, but we'll probably end up making Tidal Wave before that, which is quite cool. I do quite like Tidal Wave, so it's quite nice that we'll be on it. And just here making the sand dunes, uh, which act as a kind of border between the path and Amity Beach. Um, making a little shack here. Uh, they sell, I think they do coke and things like that. Um, so, yeah. I realised I had to make this a bit longer than it was because um, otherwise the uh, corrugated roof that I was making or using wouldn't fit properly and all of that so yeah and it was also longer than it was wide anyway so it makes sense um, yeah just adding in the little posters uh, so yeah next episode will be just moving along the same pathway that we've been on for a while. Um, I may start filling in the middle. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the slides. Uh, uh, wet, 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 they're called. Because um, they're just unbelievably difficult to make. And they're not really part of the theme park, really. And they're just going to make the game a lot laggier um, before it needs to be. So I'm going to just stick with that for now. So, yeah. Just going to be adding in the bushes and trees along this little bit of path just for now I actually can't remember what is at the end of this path I think it's kind of an intersection but I can't quite remember but anyway guys that is going to be the end of the episode if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe it would mean a lot uh, remember we are trying to hit 1000 subs by the end of the year so any help towards that would be hugely appreciated but yeah, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.